Hello everybody. I hope you are enjoying the Last of Us Laundromat series so far and coming in and checking out the videos and appreciate all your comments and the likes and uh, and your views on that. And uh, last night I uh, did some texturing of the washing machine and since then I've textured the second dryer. So all of those main mechanical devices are now textured and they're in the scene. I've also done a little wire basket. Uh, I may show you how to model that. It's really simple. It's just another prop to have in there. I'm debating about this soap dispenser I mentioned a few vlogs back uh, in the far back corner. We'll see about that. But what I figured I need to do next really is I need to get the ceiling in there uh, as we're moving close to the end of the of the t the texturing and all that and so there is a little overhang over the window wall and and then there's the actual sort of tiled ceiling or drop ceiling uh, that I want to do and I haven't quite decided if I want to do the ceiling panels in geometry like I did in uh, the previous uh, series the, that apocalyptic classroom or if I might actually use the tile generator in substance painter and get that to match match the framework uh, of the ceiling and have the tiles done that way. Uh, I'm going to experiment a little bit, hopefully before tonight. I hope to do something tonight, but if I decide to do it this the old way with geometry, I'm going to do it very similarly to the post-apocalyptic classroom, have a little bit of disarray in the ceiling tiles and break the, the frame, I'll call it the frame, the metal frame up a little bit to match the sort of, uh, you know, broken down uh, uh, mood of the, of the scene. Uh, but like I say, we are moving towards the uh, conclusion. We're not there yet. We're looking at another probably three videos or so. Uh, I've got to get the basket in there, um, possibly a little bit more uh, debris, but we've also got the TVs to texture. And then I've got a bunch of signs and a clock, so a bunch of little things. And then I was asked if I would show how I bring either all of the stuff into Blender or some of it, because I use the UDIM method. Uh, I could show some of that, how I uh, set up, you know, all the, you know, the materials or some of the materials. And then, uh, then I got a, uh, oh, I, and I still have the windows to do, by the way, because that has some decals on it and it's got some light in behind it. And I'm not certain right now if, if the glass is going to be partially transparent. So I can actually have light coming through or if the window is going to have emission on it itself, uh, which is what I'm leading towards. So I need to experiment a little bit. And think about that but uh, we are moving closer so uh, it's already I think it's nine videos or ten videos long so I really appreciate your perseverance uh, with me on this and I promise that we should have it done by 15 videos in this series and then maybe we'll move on and do a couple of small things before we jump back into a big C because it takes a lot of work and a lot of thinking um, and that's basically uh, what I wanted to say to you so yeah Thanks so much for coming by and I hope to see you again in the next video.